Oh, how's it going, folks? I'm, uh, about out of simpler times. I've enjoyed it, though. Just about out of introductory material to the BOM. The 1966 version, at least. But I do have a bit of good news. Got my backup BOM, the one I started this with, the little one. Ah. And it has that introduction I remember. Although, God, that print is so tiny. But, this might be worth going through also. Uh, might be interesting to compare them. All right. Well, without further ado, let us address the testimony of Parley P. Pratt, or Triple P as I like to call him. <laughs> He's at the end. He's the last testimony <laughs> before we get to the phony maps. <laughs> Here we go. It was early in the morning, just at the dawn of day. Well, finally, we got someone who can write. Huh? <laughs> he came in a little too late to help, I guess. I walked ten miles into the country and stopped to breakfast with Mr. Wells. I proposed to preach in the evening. Mr. Wells readily accompanied me uh, through the neighborhood to visit the people and circulate the appointment. We visited an old Baptist deacon by the name of Hamlin. After hearing of our appointment for the evening, he began to tell of a book, a strange book, a very strange book, in his possession, which had just been published, which had been just published. Uh, this book, he said, purported to have been originally discovered, wait, written on plates of either Plate, uh, plates either of gold or brass by a branch of the tribes of Israel. The prince is kind of small in his last sections. No large font here. Uh, and to have been discovered and translated by a young man near Palmyra in the state of New York. By uh, by the aid of visions or the ministry of angels, I inquired of him how or where the book was to be obtained. He promised uh, me the perusal of it at his house the next day if I would call. I felt a strange interest in the book. Me too. I can't figure it out. There's nothing interesting here, but it's a strange interest. And a great excuse to drink. I preached that evening to a small audience. Ah, small audience. I wonder how I could get a larger audience. Too bad they don't have dates on these testimonials. It just has the name. Don't you think they should have had a date, like in a proper book? You know, written on this date by the hand of. Instead, we got this. Whatever. It just doesn't look. You know, I mean, like earlier on, there's they're saying that jo Joseph Smith still has the plates, and yet the other guy said they saw it in a vision. And I don't know. It's just so incredibly convincing. I preached that uh, that evening to a small audience who appeared to be interested in the truths which I endeavored to unfold to them in a clear and lucid manner 
from the scriptures. Next morning, I called at the house where, for the first time, my eyes beheld the Book of Mormon. That book of books. Oh, I guess I know where his stand on this. That book of books. Good as gold, baby. <laughs> book of books. <laughs> Not even. That record which reveals the antiquities of the new world. Nice little ego boost for us living over here. Back to the remotest ages, and which unfolds the destiny of its people and the world for all time to come. That book which contains the fullness of the gospel of a crucified and risen Redeemer. <laughs> Triple P, babies. <laughs> Get this going. Uh, yeah. A record that reveals the antiquities of the New World back to the remotest ages and which unfolds the destiny of its people and the world, and of the world, um, for all time to come. That book which contains the fullness of the gospel of a crucified and risen Redeemer, that book which reveals a lost remnant of Joseph. And yet somehow they have Levite priests in the New World, because they got a temple. Got to be a Levite. They weren't from that branch. Not if they're from Joseph. <sighs> that book, which reveals a lost remnant of Joseph. Uh, not the Levites. And which was the principal means in the hands of God of directing the entire course of my future life. You must not have known your Bible very well, Mr. Baptist preacher guy. Mr. Parley P. Pratt. <laughs> Here's to you, Biatch. Nasal congestion from the hay fever. I got it coming for air. <clears throat> Damn nice. Not parley, but that simpler times. The Pilsner. <clears throat> All right, so he's made up his mind. It's all about his future life. Next paragraph. I opened it with eagerness. Yeah. Yeah, very receptive person, aren't you? And read its title page. And then I read the testimony of several witnesses in relation to the manner of its being found and translated Game over, man. Case closed. <laughs> After this, I commenced its contents by course. I read all day. Eating was a burden. <laughs> I had no desire for food. Sleep was a burden. <sighs> when the night came... Yeah, it was a burden when the night came. For I preferred reading to sleep. This is the book. <laughs> you could do this. You could go into a coma at midday. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a fucking Starbucks. <laughs> As I read. 
The Spirit of the Lord was upon me. Thank God for malnutrition and sleep deprivation. <sighs> and a good dose of gullibility. As I read, the Spirit of the Lord was upon me. Sorry. And I knew and comprehended that the book was true as plainly and manifestly as a man comprehends and knows that he exists. <laughs> My joy was now full. He loves Big Brother now. <laughs> as it were, and I rejoiced sufficiently to more than pay for all the sorrows sacrificed, uh, sorrows, sacrifices, and toils of my life. Well, Party P. Pratt, you sound like a, you sound like you could have been a, become a, a Mooney or Scientologist. You're preaching to a tiny crowd. You don't seem to know your Bible too well. And don't know what age he was. I don't know when he wrote this. I don't know when Briggy wrote his part. When'd you write this, Briggy? I'd like to know when they wrote this shit. They got these testimonies, and it's like. <sighs> Where the fuck's the date? Where's the date? You see it? I don't see any dates. So when did they write these testimonies? At what point in history did these wonderful testimonies come to pass? Damn, I finished. Alright. I got it. I'm done with all the backgrounds. You know, back forward and afterward, but I dug this out of the backseat of my car. It's my backup VOM. It's kind of hard for me to read it. This is one I started with. That's why my earliest videos are, well, really bad. <laughs> but it's this is evolution in progress. <laughs> Lots of nice pictures. Yeah, this one's got all the pictures. I mean, the other one's deluxe. Oh, and there's his buddy. with his plates. There is an introduction here. Yeah. Real small print. I'm going to read that next, but not now. I think I'm done. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. <laughs>